So that's a good, important thing for marketing. So I recommend all of you, we'll give you guys some contacts, George has some contacts, myself too, to get you guys on that, on that route. Um, Miguel, what, what, you know, and the question that I wanted to gear towards you is one that there's such a car reluctance in this world. You know, a lot of people think that they have a magic pill and they're going to be successful in real estate without doing the most important things. And like if you're working out, lifting weights, it's the most important part. The phone is a very important part that you, that's why I think you guys are all here. A lot of people try to get, be very successful. And I use Laura as an example. She was away from the phone and now she's becoming a lot more successful. And Miguel's done very well with Vulcan 7. He's the one that actually uh, brought it to a broker and said, hey, we need to put this tool for everybody. How, how much business have you gotten yeah, from it? Yeah, I've gotten, I wanna say, if I could get on the phone more often, I'd have probably about maybe another 15 to 20 listings. You know, I just, dedicate my time to helping others, managing the office, running another, you know, investments. So, uh, but I'm dedicating this year to get on the phone a little bit more. Even the other day at seven o'clock at night, I was on the phone and picked up two listing appointments in an hour and 30 minutes. So being on the phone. Um, so you gotta put that as, as part of your daily routine. You gotta get on the phone. Number one, if you're in the market and you wanna get into investments and you wanna reach out to you want to start tapping into now the investment in Chicago, in Portland, in Seattle, wherever it is. You got to get on the phone and you got to communicate with those realtors over there. You got to let them know what you're doing. You got to start calling people because if you don't call people, you're not going to communicate. Just sending out an email is not working anymore. Phones is the traditional way of doing things. Like, I remember, I was talking to George the other day, we went to play basketball, and when we left playing basketball, I told him where I started, in the uh, Miami Springs Circle, uh, with a state certified, he had about 30 appraisers working in there, but we had no MLS. The MLS was a CD, which was called Win2 Data, and they would give you a CD, you would pay like $800 a year for the company, if you were a, a, a real estate company, an appraisal company, and they'll give you a CD, you would put it into your hard drive, and now I had all the data, so they would send you a CD every month. So you couldn't get your updated sales on a daily basis. It would be on a monthly basis. The MLS, you would have to walk into the office, the one right there in Miami Springs, and you would ver have to verify the sales. I'm 34 years old, I started at 20, but back then, they, the, the old heads would tell me that, and they'll be like, hey look, this is what we were doing, you guys have it a lot easier now. We have it so easy right now because we have systems in place that get you the direct number to the person. So there is no reason not to call, because you're gonna reach, you're gonna, talk, you're gonna call and you're gonna reach that target. That target is gonna be that person that wants to sell their home, and you're the agent. So on a daily routine, I would say, if you're starting off in the business and you've got eight hours of, to dedicate to real estate because you've got another, uh, six hours for family, another two hours for the gym, and then you got your sleeping six hours. So I want to say, out of those eight hours that you have a day, you want to dedicate at least four hours, three to four hours to calling, cold calling. If you can do that, I guarantee you, there should you should not be getting no listing appointments. There is probably the top producing agents in, in my South Florida right now. Miami Beach, you step out, you go into any of these, any other office, and the top producing agents, that's where they start. M Miguel, Once you get your name out there. Oh, my bad, sorry, I didn't jump in. I was gonna say, but everybody's gonna say, oh yeah, because Miguel, you've been doing this for a long time, and I'm only picking on two, I'm not picking on them, I'm, I'm bringing in two people. Frankly, I'm, I wanna bring you into this conversation. H how do you feel when, you, you know, he, he does cold calling, so does Laura, that I see consistently, uh, you know, the wolf does too. And, but how did the beginning pass? There's a lot of people in, there, in here that have never started it. How was the beginning? How did you get over that hump? Um, it's frustrating, first and foremost, just because like, uh, with I'm pretty sure you guys heard this before, you'll go through like 100 no's before you finally get a yeah. And it's, uh, it's not one thing. One thing it is the cold call and another thing too, it's, it's all, it's all it's, I think another the strong suit is, is the follow-up game. That follow-up game has to be strong because it's funny because I just had a, I just did a deal um, 
a property I, I've, I literally, I, I, since I got into to, um, lifestyle, I first found the property and I kept on calling, calling, calling like every month. It took me probably about, like I think almost six months to finally get this deal, but when I finally got it, I closed on it and I made $10,000. I made ten thousand dollars just on the initial, just on the uh, the initial front part of it, and plus the investor that I work with, he allows me to list it because I'm also a licensed real estate agent. But just the how much did you make on the back end? That's that's the motivating factor. Yeah, on the, well, on, on, the, on the on the back when you when you list it, how much you're gonna make as well? Yeah, on the, well, I'm gonna make an additional seven thousand dollars. So seventeen thousand dollars on a phone call. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so it's just to hone in on what you what you're asking, just that that cold calling. First and foremost, is just frustrating, but. At the at once you once you start getting to do it, it's it's a it's a drive. You know, once you once you first get your first deal, then you're like, oh shoot, you know. And every call, every conversation is a is a potential lead. You know, it's relationships. And this business, like like Miguel was saying, it's all about networking. It's all about making yourself available. Who how how do you expect to how do you expect to make deals and do anything if people don't even know who you are or what you do? So it's all about honing into to your to your personal network, whether it be friends, family, employees, associates, even like people when you go to the grocery store and just like, hey, I'm I'm a realtor, you know, just stuff like that. It's it's uh -huh. okay. it's all about the grind. And and I'll swing it. And I got you, Wolf. I want to leave the Wolf last, who has made hundreds of thousands of dollars on cold calling. Laura, how's your uh, cold calling experience been? How did and, and and how long ago did it start? And how did you begin that? Like around that time that I came back from Jersey, and um, it's been it's been hard. But uh, if you don't get started, like I, I started now, I've been going from eight to twelve. I'm, I haven't gotten any listing appointments. Like I want, and something happened, and it, like the appointment really never happened. But the guy allowed me to like go over there and everything, but no, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing but worth having is easy. Then, so. But my my confidence on the phone has been way better. Like, I wasn't able to, but if you just have to keep going, like if a, like somebody that has been on the phone for a long time, they take like a month to get there. Like if you don't get started, we're gonna take forever, like longer than a month, two months, three months. So what? The time we get that experience, we're gonna be, you know, pretty good. Laura, I was day one when you first started doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the mindset has to be really, really good before you start calling. Because if not, it's gonna drain you. Like it's really bad. But you know, it's you gotta see the the pressure at the end. Yeah. It's like, um, sorry to interrupt you. Laura. I got bullied too. Like people bully you too. Like, yeah. So some crazy. look. It's like you go to the gym in December and nobody's there. <laughs> right? Right? When you go to the gym in December, nobody's there. The gym's empty. Right? Why? Because. Everybody's just like, their mindset is like, oh, you know, I worked out all year. And they said, same thing as calling. You pick, you call, you're like, oh, I didn't work. I, I wasn't successful at it. I'm going to try an avenue. No. This is the avenue. Real estate, the phone is a must. So the construction worker needs a hammer. The realtor needs the phone. You need to call. Yeah. All right, so what is the, the fear that agents fear the no. I don't know. I, I, you guys tell me. You guys tell me your fear, and I'll try to help you guys. There's, you know, there should be no fear. I think that's why we don't do it because of the no, 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 mm -hmm. no rejection. That's, no. that's not so much of my fear. My fear is what are you saying when you do call? Well, you gotta have a what script. You, you what are you saying? When we you have you scripts. Call. You can you can go to Google right now and you can Google scripts. Mm -hmm. Tom Ferry scripts. Uh, Mike Ferry scripts. Grant Cardone scripts. You know, and you'll see scripts. All those scripts are there, but you cannot. I don't run off a script because you sound like everybody else. Right. So now, at the you sound now, let me jump in there though, uh, just because and it you because you already know the base. At the beginning, you need to sound like a robot because one of your fears is going to be not to say the right things because you're going to want to try to create your own script, and then you see it's not working. If you use a script, your probability of, of it working is a lot better. Now, once you're very good at it, you can start making modifications. Yeah. But if you're gonna make 100 calls off script and you don't know nothing to say, you're not gonna be as successful. You use a script, even if you sound robotic, but you're gonna ask the right question. So make sure, and, and a lot of times, our fear of failure allows 
us to say, oh, I don't have the right scripture, I'm not going to call. And I'm not saying this is the case in, 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 your, in, your, in your life, but don't let that be the hurdle. Be like, okay, it's going to take 100 calls. I'm going to mess up 100 times. But who cares? There's millions of people I can mess up. I'm never going to see these guys again. And for that one chance, not one, you ideally want to have a higher probability, but for that one out of 100, that changes your life, your family's life. So those are the things you got to think when you start sending out those calls. Those first couple of calls are going to be the toughest. But after a while, you're going to know every single rebuttal and it's just going to be automatic. Now when he calls, he doesn't need a script because he exactly knows, he knows exactly what to say for most responses and he's still going to be learning. It's a never ending quest and it's never going to be fun, but you're going to see so much change in your life that it's just, it's like going to, it's like going to work in the morning. You know, at, when, well, if it's real estate, I hope it's passion and you want to wake up in the morning, but like anything else. Going to the gym is not the funnest thing in the world, but you know you need it to survive and have a healthy lifestyle. So it's cold calling. That's the lifeline of real estate. So Yeah, you can run the script.